Hey everybody, this is Professor Lipscomb here and I wanted to give you a quick training on how to move your classes from your personal Moodle Cloud site to our new mybennett.moodle.school cloud site which houses all the classes from Bennett College that we care to put on there. And what I'd like to do first is have you see, I've got both my sites open. So what I want to first do is go to television production class on my Moodle Cloud site and I'm going to go down into this class and I'm going to hit back up. Okay, there's one thing I'm going to not click on this side and that's include enrolled users. They were my students from last year and I don't want them to move over. So I'm going to hit next and then this is kind of all my stuff and I'm going to move everything over. If there's something I want to get rid of, I'll just kind of get rid of it when I start my new class. So I'm going to hit perform backup. Now there may be a couple of different variations of ways to do this, but what I want to do is kind of show you what I've found that to work the easiest. Now on the inside here, I'm going into now the customized Moodle school site. And you see William has done a good job decorating it with the Bennett Bell and some other things. There's also some areas that I would like to change. If you look into our journalism media studies department, what you see is there's a lot of stock pictures. I'd love and I'm going to try to figure out how to get some of our Bennett students into these pictures and then it'll feel the site will feel more at home. So what I want to do now is within this department I want to add a new course. And what I'm going to do while my other course is backing up, I'm going to call this course the big long name is Television Pro I better spell it right. Television production. The short course short name, something like this. TV PROD abbreviated. And then the course number is JM294. Now we should always do, all do it some variation like that. The long name, then an abbreviated short name, and then course ID number should always coincide with our course catalog number. And I'm not going to fill it in now, but this would be a place where you'd put the description from our catalog. And I'm going to leave myself a note to do that. Now, here's one thing that it does it automatically, but completion tracking. It's enabled and it does that by default. I believe on an older version the default of this was no, but I like completion tracking on because that means what we can do is have the students check off the weekly work you give them in sort of a checklist format. And this is another thing we want to fill out at the beginning. Typically you'd go with a weekly format. In other words, there's things you do by week one, week two, up through the 16 weeks of the semester and the exam. So I'm going to give it 17 weeks in a weekly format. Now an exception of when you might go instead with a topics format, for example, might be if it's, uh, say, the International um, Global Studies Department wants to come up with a training for uh, students who go out of the country and there's a few things they do. They get their passport done. They maybe do a quiz on some different um, things you should do to get prepared for traveling to another country and students are doing it self-paced not week by week that would be an example of maybe you might, where you might do a course in a topics format but generally we're going to mostly do it in weekly format and that's all we really need to mess with at this point so I'm going to save and return and we're going to be excited to see that here's television production and I'd really like to have one of our students kind of holding a video camera in here, but maybe that'll come later. So what I want to do now is I see this backup is done. So I'm going to go hit continue a couple of times on this end. And I'm going to go down to, let's see, let's hit manage manage backup files that's not it I'm I've already saved it okay alright sorry about that what I've realized is these are some of my other backup files 
that's okay. I don't mind making this mistake or being a little confused because I'm realizing now I just go into JM294. Okay, so these are all my backup areas. And once you've downloaded them, you can kind of delete these. And actually, I'm going to do that. I've already uploaded these other ones. So what I'm going to show you how to do is I don't need some of these anymore. So for instance, I can delete this one. And I'll go out eventually and delete some of the other ones. All right, so now I'm back in my area. And I'm going to download my JM. 294 class. Once I hit the download area, here it goes up here and it's going to back up. And I'm going to move it up here on my computer where I can get at it. And now I'm going to go back into the television production class on the brand new Moodle School site. I'm going to go into this class and then in my course, course administration, I'm going to do a restore and it wants me to import. Now I can hit choose a file and find it on the desktop and I could browse for it, find it on my desktop or instead I can just kind of drop it over and in. So I'm going to drop it in. Remember I have not brought in my class uh, roster in with me because I want to start this all over. So I hit restore. This is very exciting because we're not having to redo the whole thing. So you see it works very quickly. Now let's see what my class looks like now. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. I've got all of these different sections all ready to go. Some quizzes ready. Some of my links to different URLs. The place where you can turn in work. And I'll have to do a little maintenance on this but it's in good shape. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit continue a couple of times. And okay, so this is really important. Now I'm here and I've got some options, but I want to do is I want to merge this backup course into this course. So in other words, I created a sort of a shell of a course called television production. And then I backed up the old course the old course from my Bennett, my, um, my Moodle Cloud site. So now I want to go into this middle area, restore the course, merge the backup course into this course, and hit continue. Now I'm going to go on and hit next a couple of more times. And... Here it goes. And when this finishes up, this is going to be great because I have my course that I did last semester and it's already loaded up and ready to go for this semester. Waiting for it. It's almost there. And it's giving me that green bar telling me everything's worked. And look, everything is there, even that little bonus area I made for bonus assignments. And as I mentioned, there's places to do check marks. If you're a student, you can kind of check things off as you go. Some of these forums, by the way, will do automatic checks if the students meet the conditions. In other words, do enough posts that you set up for them. But here it is. My course goes all the way up, and, uh, and it's going all the way up to... Uh, the end of the year and I can go in and sort of switch it around so it's got the right number of weeks by taking out and adding weeks. Um, if you notice here and let's do that while I got you while I got your your attention let's do it let's go ahead and make a little bit of adjustment while we're here. So if I go to edit settings I can start this course when we started on the 21st and you, some people like to run their classes Monday to Monday. Other people like to do it a little differently. And let's see if we can make just a little adjustment in the way the course goes. Okay, so there it started when we started. And it's going to finish up with exam week um, towards here. And if I need to, I can add or take away weeks. But that's basically how you take a course from your personal Moodle Cloud site and merge it over to our new 
mybennett.moodle.school. What I'd like you to do is feel free to contact me at tlipscomb at bennett.edu or give me a call or a text on my cell phone, 336-549-4943. If there's any way I can help you with this process so that you can get all your courses up and running in the Moodle platform. And I'd really advise once you get to doing this, that even if you have classes that are not hybrid or online, classes where you're meeting with the students face to face, get those courses into here because then that gives you an option of turning these classes online as you move forward in your teaching at Bennett College. And it lets you take these courses with you so way in the future you can teach these courses uh, any number of places. You take them with you wherever you end up if you end up moving for some reason or another. Uh, also what it does is it um, it's a great way for students to sort of create a product of work. That's one thing that can be a struggle is getting students to really invest in the idea of doing a lot of work each week and seeing the results of their hard work and then monitoring their progress, not making you be responsible for their grades all the time or coming to you to see what their grades are, but really being able to manage their work as they go. So I wish you the best of luck with this semester. Again, contact me if you have any questions or problems getting the, your courses underway. Thank you for watching.